Hey guys, what's up in this video and compare the specs and features of the Google Nexus 6 versus the iPhone 6 Plus. Now the Nexus 6 is the Google's first ever um, flagship phablet device and it's made by Motorola, not LG. So uh, let's start off from the specs here. Display, uh, we have 6.0 in screen on the Nexus 6. You can see it is a true, true phablet category display as compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. We'll leave it smaller display 5.5 inch uh, resolution wise the iPhone 6 has a 1080p HD resolution whereas the Nexus 6 has a 1440 by 2560 pixel resolution or quad HD and which is simply um, awesome you know it has PPI almost almost close to 500 which is 493 and this display is actually the same as the uh, Note 4 because this display is AMOLED and it's also it's not super AMOLED it's an AMOLED display and whereas on the Note 4 we have a Super AMOLED display, uh, I'm not sure what the difference between these two displays, but they you know use same kind of technology. But on the other hand, on the iPhone 6 Plus we have uh, 401 PPI, uh, which is almost like 100 less than the Nexus 6 uh, due to the resolution, and also it has an IPS LCD display. Now also the Nexus 6 is splash resistant, uh, meaning if you can you know if you accidentally drop water on the phone it will you know no problems no charging problems or stuff like that and um, that's extremely good but it's not waterproof you can't really put in a tub of water so uh, that is that will be a damage to the device so and also the iPhone 6 plus is also not waterproof or splash resistant I've tested out some liquid tests on my iPhone 6 and I've seen a lot of errors uh, you know during charging and stuff like that so um, let's start off here with the software and uh, we have Android L 5.0 now this is the official one uh, uh, on the Nexus 6 and also the Nexus 5 will also going to be updated to the Android L pretty soon uh, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus has iOS 8 and uh, 8.0.2 which is the latest one at the moment so uh, the Nexus X extremely heavier device it is a 184 gram in terms of weight uh, versus a 172 gram on the iPhone 6 Plus iPhone 6 Plus is also the slimmest phablet ever 7.1 millimeter versus the Nexus 6 which is uh, coming with 10.06 millimeter thickness now also in terms of the camera the Nexus 6 has a 13 megapixel dual LED flash camera on the back uh, same um, as you know same optical image stabilization as a previous Nexus 5 and which is extremely good whereas on the iPhone 6 plus we do have the optical uh, optical image stabilization uh, with some more features and uh, this camera is same 8 megapixel but it has a better sensor which is extremely good in terms of you know video capturing and focus and blurring and you know stuff like that also uh, the iPhone 6 plus also has a dual LED flash um, also iPhone 6 plus can record 1080p HD video at 60 FPS as well as 720p video at 240 FPS which is a slow-mo video now on the other hand the Nexus 6 finally have 4k video recording uh, which is 3840 uh, by 2160 resolution which is extremely great now on the iPhone 6 plus and the iPhone 6 uh, both devices don't have the 4k capabilities whereas almost every single Android device except HTC One Mate has 4K video recording capabilities. Now also we can also record a 720p HD video at 30fps and you know you can lower the quality on the Nexus 6 and also front facing camera wise the Nexus 6 also comes with a 2 megapixel camera uh, versus 1.2 megapixel camera on the iPhone 6 Plus. Both are capable of recording HD video. Now in terms of the hardware both devices have extremely extremely fast processor. Now the Nexus 6 has proved itself that it is faster than the iPhone 6 Plus. It has a better Geekbench score, the most device that ever score and you know most score most highest highest score ever uh, done on a device is a Nexus 6. It has 3000 something score uh, and uh, which is even greater than the Note 4. So it has a Snapdragon 805 quad core 2.7 gigahertz processor with a new Adreno 420 GPU which is 50% faster than the previous uh, generation. Now as compared to the iPhone 6 Plus we have Apple A8 chipset which is a dual core 1.4 gigahertz but it is a 64 bit uh, with extremely powerful GPU which is Core VR GX6650. Now, in terms of the system memory, the Nexus 6 comes with twice the more RAM as compared to the iPhone 6 Plus, which is 3GB of RAM versus 1GB of RAM. And build and storage wise, the Nexus 6 is coming with 64GB of internal memory. Um, also, uh, on, the, uh, on the iPhone 6 Plus, we have 128GB and 32GB uh, and 64GB variants. And also, both the devices uh, don't come with any kind of micro SD slot option for storage expansion. So, um, also, battery wise, 
wise the Nexus 6 also has extremely extremely great battery at 3220 milliampere battery um, it should be enough to you know boost its quad HD 6 inch display whereas on the iPhone 6 plus uh, we have a 2000 something milliampere battery uh, I'm not sure confirmed about the iPhone 6 plus but uh, I use iPhone 6 I know that uh, the battery is not that bad, but of course uh, we, we don't know about, know about the Nexus 6 uh, at the moment because there are no some uh, real life tests. So also uh, we have LDEA speeds on the Nexus 6, which is twice the more uh, download and upload speed than the iPhone 6 Plus, and that is extremely great. Um, also, the Nexus 6 uh, is, uh, has announced and it will going to be available pretty soon uh, worldwide uh, on all major carriers: Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular. In terms of the price, the Nexus 6 is extremely cheap as compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. The Nexus 6 will going to be available at a price point of $1.649, whereas the iPhone 6 Plus is, you know, like $200 more, uh, which is $949. And you can see that uh, specs-wise, the Nexus 6 is uh, better than the iPhone 6 Plus in some areas. Uh, but you can see that the price is the main difference here, almost $200 uh, difference between the two prices of these devices here so I'm definitely going to get this device as a must have must buy device and uh, we'll see about that so it's just a quick little specs comparison and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video peace